Um, as you can see on the screen, there is the new Strike. It's in blue and black. Now, I won't lie, I thought the blue was going to be a lot bluer. <laughs> but it's a midnight blue because we did a midnight blue before. So it's a very subtle uh, take on the, the shoe that we do. And if we move on to the next graphic, I'll give you a little bit of history about the mod uh, and bowling shoes. Top left there, I don't know if you can see, but that's Stretton Bowling Alley in um, the early 60s. And arguably, that's where the first time that mod people started wearing mod shoes, um, wearing mod shoes, well, mod shoes, obviously, yeah, but bowling shoes. And the story goes, the famous story is, is that the guys liked them so much that they walked out with them because they took a pair of rough shoes in and walked out with a pair of good pairs. Now, I have a bit of a theory about that. I have a, a bit of a 60s, so I don't know if you want to go back to the camera for a second. So I have a bit of a theory about that because um, if you look, there's a few pictures and I know um, Mickey Tanner and a few of them, Everybody thinks of the mod thing as being a very sort of always suits, but I always reckon that they had their suits, pictures taken in the suits, because that's when you were having your picture taken. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So you, it was for best. Nowadays we've got cameras all the time, so that we always get this impression they're always wearing their best all the time. Whereas Mickey Tanner sort of makes a point about them wearing Harrington's and perhaps less casual things, and so perhaps it was part of that new movement towards where you're young, so you wore something casual. Does that, does that make sense? So uh, um, that's my take on it anyway. That's, I, I welcome some views on that. But anyway, go back on the slide and I'll... I'll Is that the history one? It's the second one. The, the, that's the one, yeah. Um, for us lot, um, Mod Revival, my era, if you look at the top, there's the Jams gift in a sleeve. There's a guy with bowling shoes on. And I think it's because Weller was starting to get involved with the, um, uh, you know, Northern Soul thing. I think by 82, he'd kind of got bored of that kind of crashing guitar sound and moved on. But there on the right is the fantastic bloke jumping up doing a jam jump with his like his bowling shoes on, which is fantastic. It's just such a that time and the cavern thing below it, which is just, that's memories and probably a lot of people watching this having a lot of memories what, looking at those pictures. You know, it's really cool. I think what's on the next slide? Next slide? Um, yeah is next slide what's this is this a government is this um <laughs> my is my professor Tur what's his finger but when he was doing the covid thing next slide um is the strike we did the strike uh carl grizzly was badgered me from day one to get them done and um it's the chisel toe bit at the front i don't even know but trying to get that chisel toe right was really hard once we got them done um we got asked our good friend Dave Fletcher of uh, The Jammed and he tours around in them and he literally as you can see in that picture jumps up and down in them every single night and he says Andy I cannot believe that they've lasted so well I mean he wears them on stage two hours a night jumping up and down going absolutely ape and I think that's a testament they're being really good shoes so we're really pleased with them and he loves them um, so that's good so but let's stop going on about them and let's have a bit of a close-up yeah yeah are you on the close-up I think you are so I don't know, let me get that nice and close. I think you can see that it's black in the middle and it's midnight blue on the side. It's very subtle. I mean, I'm looking at the camera because I can see it over there, but it is incredibly subtle. The picture pro pictures probably show it better than that. If you notice here, it's got white lace. Um, they're going to send us some blue and black laces. So when they go on sale on Friday, they're going to have free sets. So that's free sets. Hold on, let me do it that way. So you can see my fingers, three sets of laces come with them. So you can have the white, the black, or the blue, nice. which I think is pretty cool. Um, underneath, it's got the rubber bit at the front here for stability. I had a pair in the 80s which were proper bowling shoes, and they were suede, and literally as soon as you t stood in a puddle, the water went through. Yeah, useless outside, but they're great looking shoes. Um, again, it's got the detail. Let me just show that, see if I can catch the light. It's got the holes on the side. It's black at the back. They are made of the softest leather. Let me try and get that in really close. They're ridiculously soft. They literally don't take any wearing in. You can literally put these on the feet. And I don't know if you can see, but it doesn't have an inner. It is, it's one piece. Does that make sense? It's not two pieces stuck together. So they're ridiculously comfortable. The people who like them of ours have got many pairs. So there you go. There's a close up of them. What you can wear them with, it's endless. I mean, on the wide shot you're seeing, there's all this kabichi stuff. You know, look at it. I mean, every single piece of it goes. You know, it's really good. I mean, just taking one of the things at random, you know, take this lovely top, put that pair of jeans off out. You know, that's a nice look. I think that's pretty cool. You know, it's a good look. 
yeah, it's got summer written all over it. Now, just one thing I mentioned with these, which I didn't make a lot of to do last week. This is an exclusive. These three here, these cycling ones, are exclusive to us and 80s Casuals. There's only two people got them. That's us and 80s Casuals. Um, they've got the, the zip up here. It's a cycling shirt without the bit on the back, basically, um, which makes it nice, uh, makes it less heavy. Um, as we all know, if you've got the bit on the back, it tends to fall off. Um, so they're exclusive to us. You can't get them anywhere else. I think they're really nice. Oh, don't you? What's the name of that one? It's the Ledger, isn't it, I think? Ledger. Yeah, the Ledger. And, and we've got them. Yeah, beautiful. Um, we've got it in navy, and we've got it in the sky blue as well. But that's exclusive to us. You can't get that anywhere else. So I think that makes a look. Look at that. You know, that's just fab. Add jeans, pair of trousers. Yeah, the of blue works really nicely as well. Yeah, as those shoes. it does, doesn't it? It's really nice.